Good day to you all you crazy cats. This is Caleb Leverett of Odessa, Texas. It's a beautiful Sunday, November the 4th, and it's just a beautiful day. The time changed last night. I got to sleep in a little bit. I had a date with a beautiful young lady last night. And today I find the coolest story ever. My friend Katie Brewer posted this uh, about an hour ago. And it comes from device.com, D-V-I-C-E. Ethiopian kids hack OLPCs in five months with zero instruction. This story is going to prove without a doubt that public education sucks. Not just for the, what it does to the kids by forcing them to go to class and learn this and sit in your cemetery seating and you're going to pass these standardized tests approved by government or else you're going to go to detention but for what it does to the citizenry here being stolen from in the form of property tax. This is the coolest story ever. What happens if you give a thousand Motorola Zoom tablet PCs to Ethiopian kids who have never seen a printed word? Within five months they'll start teaching themselves English while circumventing the security on your operating system to customize settings and activate disabled hardware. The One Laptop Per Child Project, OLPC, started as a way of delivering technology and resources in schools and countries with little or no education infrastructure, using inexpensive computers to improve traditional curriculum. What the OLPC project has realized over the last five or six years, though, is that teaching, ki teaching kids stuff is really not that valuable. Yes, knowing your state capitals and how to spell neighborhood properly and whatnot isn't a bad thing, but memorizing facts and procedures isn't going to inspire kids to go out and learn by teaching themselves, which is the key to a good education. Instead, OLPC is trying to figure out a way to teach kids to learn, which is what this experiment is all about. Get this, rather than give out laptops, they're actually Motorola Zoom tablets with solar chargers, um, the kids in the schools to kids in the schools with teachers, the OLPC project decided to try something completely different. I would say genius. It delivered the boxes of tablets to two villages in Ethiopia. Taped shut, no instruction whatsoever. Just like, hey kids, here's this box and you can come open it if you want. See ya! Just to give you a sense of what these villages in Ethiopia are like, the kids and most of the adults there have never seen a printed word. No books, no newspapers, no street signs, no labels on packaged food or goods, nothing. And these, and these villages aren't unique in that respect. There are many of them in Africa where the literacy rate is close to zero. So you might think that if you're going to give out a fancy tablet computer, wouldn't it be helpful to have someone along to show that these people how to use them, right? But that's not what OLPC did. They just left the boxes there, sealed up, containing one tablet for every kid in each of the villages. Nearly a thousand tablets in uh, total, with preloaded, preloaded with a custom English operating system and SD card, with tracking software on them so that, uh, to record how the tablets were used. Here's what went down as related by OLPC founder Nicola, Nicholas Nevergraponte of MIT Technology Review. Technology Reviews MTech conference last week. This is a quote, and there's a couple typos in here. So, we left the boxes in the village, closed, tape shut, no instruction, no human being. I thought these kids will play the boxes. Within four minutes, one kid had not only opened the box but found the on-off switch. He had never seen an on-off switch. He powered it up. Within five days, they were using 47 apps per child per day. Within two weeks, they were singing ABC songs in English in the village. And within five months, they had hacked Android. Some idiot in our organization or in the media lab was, had disabled the camera. And they figured it out. It had a camera, and they hacked Android. I'm not even going to finish reading this. You, you've got to fit. You've got, you, 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 I would, you're going to miss out if you don't finish reading this. This is pure genius. This is... Um, this gives me hope in humanity that maybe there is still hope for humanity 
hopefully these kids will learn that taxation is theft and that bombing people into submission, I'm sorry, into freeing them is a horrible idea. Taxing people to, in order to fund such um, campaigns is a horrible thing to do. I, 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 I'm literally at a loss for words how beautiful of a story this is. In fact, I think I'm going to get my kids four PCs or tablets for Christmas this year and say, kids, have fun. Out on the farm, we're out at my folks' place where we're staying while I have my kids. It, you know, it's, it's kind of the same thing. You know, obviously, I'm going to put up the pitchforks, you know, dangerous things, but I basically say, kids, go have fun, and they do. They don't complain. They always find something to do. Play with the animals, play with the chickens, feed them, experiment with them, play them, ride horses, jump on hay, create things out of sticks, poke things in the pond. And now, with the way technology is, to be able to give them something like this, and they don't even speak English. And what, you heard what, what they did. Uh, you know, case in point, uh, two visitations ago, I let my kids play with my phone, which I seldom do because they always mess it up and I'm too stupid to figure it out or too lazy or, or, or preoccupied or whatever. They turned on this deal where when I was texting on the autocomplete, it would talk to me whenever I pushed enter. And I hated it because I, don't, I just didn't like it. And I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. That or I never took the time to. So the next time I gave it to my nine-year-old, I said, Blaine, one of y'all messed up my phone. It talks to me. Can you fix it? And he said, well, yeah. I said, well, will you fix it? He took him like 20 seconds. Gave it back to me and I tried it out. Sure enough, he fixed it. I said, well, thanks, bud. It's been driving me nuts for two weeks. He said, Dad, it's weird that you don't know how to fix it on your own phone. I said, no, it's weird that you do know how, and you just taught me. So, anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox right now. I just want to pass along a beautiful, positive story. Sometimes I get focused on negative, and I shouldn't be doing that, but I will say this. Public education sucks. Saying, hey, we're going to tax you people and we're going to build these monstrosity buildings and we're going to have a monopoly and we're going to hire a bunch of teachers and we're going to treat them like crap. This is really, this is how we're, we do this in the United States? Come on now, there's got to be a better way. I'm out. Peace, homies.